everyone, it's Shell from Teaching Two and Three Year Olds. This week's theme is Christmas, and so we have a lot of fun hands-on activities set up around our classroom. We're finishing gifts that we're making for our parents. We're writing letters to Santa Claus in the writing area. We have our baking going on in our dramatic play area. Let me give you a tour so you can see everything that's going on. So in our block area, we have our trains back and we are going to be creating a Christmas scene. But I'm gonna wait until the children arrive because we have some little cardboard trees that they're gonna help me paint. They each have their own to paint, in fact, and decorate. And then we're gonna add those to the train table with our trains. And then I also have these cute Jingle Bell balls. They're actually cat toys. <laughs> And they're going to put them on, roll them down that tube, and they make a nice little jingling noise. And so that's something they can do. They can just put, push the balls through the tube and they'll land into the basket. On our writing table, we will be writing letters to Santa Claus. And our children at this age just love to pretend they're mailing anything. So whatever they put in that mailbox, it might actually be something they want to give to a friend or to a family member but they'll have those little pieces of paper there that they can use stamps or they can use markers to decorate and then they can mail them. And then in our dramatic play area, we are pretending to be making Christmas cookies. I found this cute little cookie set on Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description. And so they will be pretending that they're making cookies and they have their table set up and we have some Santa hats and some elf hats. And then, then up on the shelf, we have a little, um, it can, it's a little coffee maker, but, or they can pretend they're making hot cocoa, and we have our mixer, and we have a cake. So it's just a fun um, place to pretend that we're having a little Christmas party. And then on the light table, we are exploring jingle bells. And I get a little nervous using the smaller jingle bells for ch because of choking reasons. And so I'm always on the lookout for the jumbo jingle bells. And I actually found these at Marshalls and I'm, I think and TJ Maxx are at both of them. They are not mine anyways. So if you're looking for these, and if you have a store one of those stores near you. Check them out. It's in their Christmas air section and they're actually meant to attach to gifts. They have little gift tags on them. I just removed those. But look at how fun they are to hold in the hand. And then they can use the magnetic wand to pick them up. They can shake them and then they can release them back into the trays. And we found those Christmas trays at the dollar store years ago. So they might still have them. You have to check that out as well. And then at the easel, we will be taking uh, my simple bell printable. I'll drop a link in the description. And the children are going to be painting it with, with their choice of, we'll have probably yellow and gold and red and green paint. And one of our art activities is going to be painting these paper mache star ornaments. Now, I love simple ideas like this. There's absolutely no prep involved. I order them off Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description and I'm going to give them some gold and some yellow paint and they can paint them. Super, super simple. And another activity we're going to be doing is stamping with Christmas cookie cutters. Another so, so super simple activity. And actually, we are going to be making the gift wrap for the personalized ornaments that the children made last week. So we are going to be stamping these white craft bags using cookie cutters. So I'm gonna actually do both of these activities at the same time because I like to do that. So what I'm going to do is I am going to put, cover the whole entire table with white butcher paper. And then they're gonna dip these big cookie cutters into paint and stamp them all over the table because they love big movements. But I'm also gonna provide cookie cutters, smaller cookie cutters as well. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned these last week or not because I had this on the plan for last week and it didn't happen. But these are actually cookie containers. You can see that there's the lid, there's the, cake, the container, and one of my co-teachers years ago had her husband take a block and he drilled it to it to make a handle. And he did it on both. 
and then now it's a big stamp. You can't buy this kind of a stamp. I mean, this is too, it's too much fun, right? To have these little, little um, blocks on the edges of them. And so they're gonna be having fun with those and also smaller cookie cutters. And while they're doing that on the big sheet of paper, I will then put the lunch sacks out for them to also stamp. And that will be the gift bag that they will use for the gift that they're giving their families. And while I have you here, I thought I'd show you, these are the personalized ornaments that the children made last week for their families. And these are what we're going to wrap up and put in those gift bags. So basically I got the, we got these um, ornament uh, frames from Discount School Supply. I'll put a link to these in the description because this makes it so much easier when you do it this way. They're already pre-made. You just simply have the children, they squeezed, uh, they used droppers and dropped watercolors onto them. And then I'm just going, they glued some pieces around it and then I'm gonna put their picture in the middle. So it's just a nice little cute personalized ornament. So that's what they're gonna give their parents. And then you might recall a few weeks ago, I showed these styrofoam cones. I bought two of them and I asked you all what I should do with them. And I think the most popular answer was to press golf tees into it. But I think what we're gonna do first is have them paint the cones green because they love painting three-dimensional. So I thought, okay, we're gonna put the cones on the table, they can paint those, and once they're dry, then they're going to push or hammer the golf tees into the styrofoam cones. And if you're interested in these cones, I'll drop a link in the description. And then in our sensory bin, we have some really fun paper mache stars and i found these on amazon and if you've seen my previous classroom setups you'll recall well, last week we had the gingerbread paper mache boxes i've had heart paper mache boxes i've had house paper mache boxes i love these and what i really love is that they are so durable we have had some of our paper mache boxes now for three years and every class has used them and they are they hold up really well so they can st i made a point of getting the stars a little bit smaller so that then it'll they drop right in and then they could just close the lid or do whatever they want there's tongs in there so that they can transfer them along with the rice so it's just a fun fine motor activity that goes with our christmas theme and if you're interested in the boxes and the stars the wooden stars i'll put a link in the description where i got those one of our table activities is going to be an alphabet tree and basically all it is is i just simply cut a piece of felt into the shape of a tree and then i had these felt letters um, they were left over from another activity so the children can just put the letters on the tree if they want to find the letters to their name they can or whatever it's just a fun way to expose them to letters with our christmas theme and then one of our table activities is going to be very similar to what we did last week last week we had the gingerbread picture puzzle this week it is the little penguins with the santa hats and actually they're all they're both in the same packet so i'll put a link again in the description but again for the younger children i like to keep one intact and i like to make another copy and i separate them and then they can just match them up so it's a great way for them to start looking at number recognition as they're putting it together and then older children you don't have to have this part at all they simply have to look at the numbers so that they can progress from one to five to make the picture. And I'll drop a link to that printable in the description. And then another printable that I created, um, these are Christmas trees that go from one to six and just put out the cards that you feel that your children can do. And then they just can place whatever small manipulative you have. It could be buttons. In this case, I'm using pom-poms and they just count how many that go on the tree. So it's a great way for them to work on their counting skills and also work on number recognition. And I'll drop a link to this printable in the description. Another fun activity that we uh, like to do during this time is this Melissa and Doug chunky print, um, puzzle. I don't know if it's still available, I'll check. And if it is, I'll put the link in the description, but I like using these chunky puzzles because they're so much easier for smaller hands to hold and then what i like to do is i like to take all the pieces out first 
I usually put them in a little container because that way when you have them out first, then they're looking at the pictures here, then they're coming over and they're taking the piece and seeing where it goes and pressing it in. So this is a, again, a fun activity, especially for the younger children because of how, how stable and how chunky they are for their smaller hands. And at our Play-Doh table, we have candy cane stuff. So we have these candy cane, they're like these paper sticks. So they can press those in and then also the little um, candy cane cupcake toppers. And then we have some Christmas cookie cutters and then some rolling pins as well. And then in our science and exploration area, we will be exploring different types of bells, big bells and small bells, and they all sound a little different. I have more to add to this collection. I left them at home, need to get bring them over here, but a lot of these are very old bells that a dear friend had given me, and I love how each one sounds so different. So it's a great way of working on the sense of hearing, and noticing how different each one sounds. Another fun activity that we have is putting the ornaments on this felt tree. This was something that I purchased on Amazon a couple of years ago and I am so impressed with the quality of it because it comes with all those little ornaments that have Velcro backings and you just simply stick them onto the Velcro that's on the tree. And again, they just love pulling them off and putting them back on over and over again and it's held up beautifully for the last three years. So that's how we have our classroom set up for our Christmas theme in our two and three year old classroom. And remember, if you liked what you saw today, make sure to subscribe to this channel and click on the bell icon so that you can be notified when I publish my next video. Thanks for watching.